So I'm out for a service call on this uh, TAM train um, heat pump system. Um, basically the complaint was it's just not keeping up. It's, it's really cold out where we're at right now and uh, for a heat pump at least and basically just hasn't been keeping up. It's been heating but just like being like three to five degrees short of the set point. Uh, one thing I was noticing when I got here, the thermostat said it was in auxiliary heat. Um, and so I think the heat, it's an electric backup, so the heat pump was still running, but it's running the backup as well. Um, so I pulled off uh, this front area here, which is where the strip heat's at. Uh, just kind of quickly did amp draws on my W1, and then I had I think 13 amps on that and then on my W2 I had zero amps so I just wanted to check I had kind of a thought when this was installed I was kind of thinking maybe they didn't hook up W2 um, so the control area is over here so I slid this area out and I can clearly see um, you did a, yeah W2 and 3 are not picked up um, W3 isn't even available on this one I think it's just a 10, 10 K dub, if I remember right. 10 K dub, uh, let's see if I can see it here. Yeah, I think it's 10 K dub, um, strip heat. So, um, yeah, what I was seeing, what I'm probably gonna do here is I'm gonna just jumper W1 and W2 so when the backup heat does come on, um, I'm getting full heat um, out of the electric heat portion. Um, like I'd say probably most days it's not a huge deal when we have our typical winter weather but uh, definitely now that it's a little bit colder it's just struggling and these people here are caring more about comfort than they are about being energy efficient. Um, so to get them the comfort they want I'm going to try to get to that strip heat when it does need to kick on is giving them kind of that full bore uh, electric backup. Uh, it should be a super easy little fix. Um, and then I'll test it, make sure it kicks on, and uh, they should be good to go. And quick, easy way to tell if my strip heat element's kicking on and I don't have a break in a wire or anything like that is I can just hit my amp clamp around either one of the blue or the red wires going to uh, the strip heat off that board and kind of go from there. Uh, I know when these things were first coming out, these TAM units, we we're having a lot of issues with these boards where they were either these little relays built in here were either sticking open or sticking closed so you're either getting heat that wasn't shutting off or heat that wasn't coming on uh, I think they had a huge recall I'm not totally certain if it was an actual recall or what was going on but um, the strip heat um, we, I did a ton of those boards when they when these first came out quite a few years ago um, it seems like they got it figured out though now I haven't done one in years uh, on any new equipment so um, but yeah, that was uh, pretty much everything. Kind of had a hunch of what I thought might be going on once I got in here. Uh, looks like that is what's going on. So should have this up and going here real quick and easy. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And thank you guys for watching.